How are we doing everyone? Sam here from United People's TV here to predict Man United's starting eleven that's going to play City at Old Trafford on Wednesday night. EFL Cup fourth round. After that loss to Chelsea, there's going to be a lot of questions asked about Man United's lineup. But here is who I think Jose Mourinho is going to start against City on Wednesday. In goal, David De Gea made a very uncharacteristic mistake against Chelsea. He also made one against Stoke. Uh, Two mistakes he's made this season, and I don't remember him making one last year. Not worried about it, but we need better from David because we know he's capable of it. Right back Antonio Valencia, I think the only player from that Chelsea game who deserved any sort of plaudits, who came away with his head held high after a performance which was quite strong. We couldn't make the most of his crosses, and against Man City, if he does that again, we've got to make sure that we're taking advantage of him. Centre-back partnership, Daley Blinds and Chris Smalling. Both players were shambolic against Chelsea, but with Eric Bailly out injured and Phil Jones being Phil Jones, who else do we have to play there? Maybe Axel Tuanzebi or Timothy Fosu Mensah. I don't think Mourinho is going to take that risk against Man City. Left back Luke Shaw, I feel he should have started against Chelsea, vindicated by Blin's performance and he definitely should start against Man City. We need his barnstorming runs down the left again. We need him to add that attacking threat that a fullback does, because Daley Blind, as good as his set pieces are, and as good as he is when he's on his form, he's not that barnstorming modern-day fullback that goes up and down and actually adds something to your attack, whereas Luke Shaw does. We need him back. Uh, midfield, Ander Herrera and Paul Pogba. Again, both missing at Stamford Bridge, but our best midfield partnership, I feel. Herrera in that defensive midfield role, which allows Pogba to move forward a little bit more, a little bit more attacking freedom for him. And we need him to... We've needed him to really come out of his shell in the last few games. He did it against Fenerbahce, didn't do it against Chelsea. Can he do it against City? We need him to because Man City's midfield really dominated against us in that first derby at Old Trafford in September when Fellaini was running all over the shop and leaving spaces everywhere. Paul Pobbers can't be doing that. One matter in the number 10 role, not Marouane Fellaini. No brainer. We're a better team, better football inside with one matter in the team. We need him because we need to be attacking better. As simple as that, we need to score goals. You don't do that with Fellaini in the team. Matter is who you need. On the left, I've gone for Anthony Martial, a player, again, who I feel could have and maybe should have started against Chelsea. I thought Jesse Lingard, he was in my predicted 11, to be fair, as well. But Martial, different gravy of a player. We need him in this team again. We need Martial of last year helping us this year because we're really struggling in an attack at the moment. And on the right, I've gone for the missing man himself, Henrik Mkhitaryan. Sod knows if he's even alive. Of course he's alive, but you know he's been back in training for three weeks. Mourinho doesn't include him in the squad at all to face Fenerbahce. Doesn't include him in the squad at all to face Chelsea. He's supposed to be fit. Is he fit? Is he isn't? I don't know. Did we sign him in the summer? Of course we did. Contrib he contributed to over 50 goals last year and at a time where United are struggling. We need him in the team. I just hope he's fit. Obviously, the last time he played was against City at Old Trafford and that was taken off at half-time. That was how bad that performance was, but he wasn't fit. If he's fit and ready, get him straight in that team. Up front, I've gone for Zlatan Ibrahimovic. This is a predicted 11. This is not a preferred 11. Although I probably would still start Ibrahimovic because he's Ibrahimovic. But how long does that mantra last for? He's only scored one in his last six against FC Zoria. Missed sitters against Stoke, Chelsea and Liverpool. Should we be playing Marcus Rashford through the middle instead of Zlatan? Let me know in the comments what you feel about that. But Zlatan has played 90 minutes in every game he's played this season, apart from Feyenoord away and Northampton. And there comes a point where you've got to say that you know, Zlatan's got to be taken off. It's as simple as that. It doesn't matter who your name is. It's the problem that we went through with Wayne Rooney and that we pandered to him too much. If Zlatan is out of form, play Rashford or Martial up front. It's as simple as that. We've got options. We need to start using them. Uh, that's my predicted 11. Let me know yours in the comments below. It's going to be a very tough time for Man United on Wednesday. Luckily, City are out of form as well. It's, it's, a, it's a tough game that United really need to win to make sure this momentum doesn't get sucked further south than it already is. Uh, drop a like on the video as always and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. And we'll see you soon. Take it easy.